there is something to be said for pushing the envelope and not necessarily dismissing things as crazy ideas. Because when we stay with the status quo, we don't get to continually improve with innovation. This job in general, doing industrial research, is the perfect job for me because it allows me to kind of explore the unknown and play in the sandbox. Our focus in the research organization is to understand how we can leverage additive manufacturing to create value across the Ford enterprise. It's really exciting because it's a newer technology for us to apply to real life problems and products that really impact everybody's lives. For the carbon system, one of the big advantages here is the speed and the throughput at which you can print. Your first prototype parts are actually production parts right? because we're using some version of the part design and we're using some version of the process and we're just continuing to improve the product as we move forward. If we are able to iterate and improve our product that much faster, then we can respond more nimbly to the customer wants. We had gotten to the point where we were doing vehicle level testing on the Shelby Mustang GT500. And one day, one of these parts failed. And so our engineers were able to stop that testing, take the piece off, analyze the part and redesign the part, print the part and put it back on the vehicle all within two days. And that is not something that we could have done with any other conventional technology. Most are probably aware that Henry Ford himself was quite an inventor. He continued to innovate in really unique ways. Think about where your pain points are. What are the things that you would like your product to do that it can't do today. And then ask yourself if additive manufacturing can solve that problem. There are a lot of different scenarios that additive manufacturing can add value, but I think that the big message is that it can help to make our business more efficient in every aspect.